Well, welcome back guys. For today I've got something a little bit different. I'm going to do a best of video with uh, Mr. Krota Los Hellery right there. Uh, so no live commentary or new clips today, but uh, plenty of action though, I can assure you that. Because uh, if you follow my videos, you probably know already that uh, Mr. Hellery is uh, a total hardliner when it comes to this. See, he's locked on already. Boom, there we go. Yeah, he has obviously an insane strike speed and also insanely fast acting Venom, see? That video is definitely going to prove that easily one of my most deadliest snakes right there. And he also has a bit of a habit of uh, trying to strike at the mice several times, even when they are dead already, actually. Which uh, I think is kind of funny, see? I don't know why he does that. Uh, you know, usually the Vipers, they do like to conserve their Venom, but he just uh, dumps in as much as possible, I feel like. Which is very interesting. So, this right here is actually the first ever live feeding I ever recorded of him. Boom, there we go. Now, uh, have a look at how fast that Venom acts. That's uh, pretty impressive right there, I think. There we go. And uh, maybe I'm going to get uh, some more comments of uh, people saying that this is just the fangs uh, piercing the brain or the heart. But uh, obviously that's not the case. This is what a severe envenomation looks like in a prayer item. I can uh, show you that. And of course they do have long fangs, but their fangs are actually hollow since they are connected to the venom glands in the back of that snake's head to deliver that venom and therefore they don't bite hard enough to damage internal organs or even pierce the skull. So it really is that venom that uh, took effect right there. Very nice, but uh, let's uh, have a look at some more clips of him. <laughs> so this is another older clip I got where he's uh, still in his baby cage. Uh, keep in mind he's just around one year old in uh, these older clips. But still of course they're not lacking in venom potency at all. There we go. Uh, the Crota Celery are actually known to be the second most venomous viper in North America. Just after the Crota Cutulatus, the Mojave rattlesnake. Uh, and in the Mojave rattlesnakes the actual venom components do vary from locality to locality. And all the experts believe that this was only the case for the Crotalus cutulatus, meaning the Mojave rattlesnake. But it actually turned out that it is the same thing for the Crotalus hellery. There are some localities uh, of the hellery where there were bite victims confirmed by the Crotalus hellery that had, had the exact same symptoms as if they were bitten from a Mojave rattlesnake. So they also have that strong neurotoxic component within their venom. That Mojave toxin A, which uh, makes the Crotalus cutulatus so potent, and apparently the Crotalus hellery too, which is uh, quite interesting. So let's uh, have a look at some other older clips of him before we get into some more recent ones. Uh, as I mentioned already in this one, he is still in his baby cage. Um, I do get several different sized bins, usually for my snakes. Uh, I've had him since he was just born. And usually they like to have a, a cage that is say, in the appropriate size, so not too big. So instead of just uh, putting them in a large cage right away, it us uh, usually works a lot better if you uh, give them a smaller one first, let them adjust and then uh, move them into a bigger one once they outgrow the one they had before. That's how you get the best uh, feeding response. Since uh, they do like uh, tight and uh, dark spaces much more than uh, feeling like they are out in the open. But uh, again, let's uh, have a look at some uh, more clips now where he's a bit older. So this is a clip from uh, when I just moved him into a larger bin. I thought that he would be able to stay in this one for the rest of his life, but uh, he did uh, put on some uh, more size over the last few months still, so I'm probably going to move him into yet another cage at uh, some point. Uh, but this is another crazy takedown look. There we go. Two strikes already. 
And that's of course more than enough to take out that uh, mouse very quickly. This is uh, a bit of a smaller prayer item compared to him, but of course still very impressive performance right there. But again, he did grow uh, quite substantially after that as well. Mm, the thing is, he is from a locality called uh, San Diego County. And the Protalo Celery from there are known to stay a bit smaller in size. The Crotalo Celery are a species that is in general uh, known to grow very big. So here is another clip. I already talked about uh, the uh, locality where he is from, uh, where they usually are a bit smaller, but uh, there are some other localities that uh, can grow to uh, over a meter easily, while these stay around 80 centimeters. Uh, but again, they can grow to a pretty substantial size. Um, I had a friend that uh, still lives in Germany, which uh, has a very big adult male Crotalo celery specimen in his collection. And uh, he was one of the largest rattlesnakes that I have ever seen. That uh, wasn't a, um, a Eastern Diamondback or a Neotropical one. It was a pretty impressive animal. I don't know exactly how long it was, but it was certainly larger than any Western Diamondback rattlesnake that I have ever seen. Granted, a lot of the uh, Crotalus atrox they have been uh, kind of um, reduced in size from all the, the breeding, but uh, still it was a pretty impressive animal and it would have a, a pretty significant yield as well. So, this is the last clip for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it so far. Seeing this uh, very potent little snake right there. I have uh, talked about the venom components already, but uh, to maybe go into a little more detail, basically, they found out in the Mojave rattlesnakes first that there are two different main venom components that these snakes can possess which is the Mojave toxin A, which is the neurotoxic one, and the Mojave toxin B, which is the uh, more normal uh, cytotoxic slash hemorrhagic one, similar to the venom that most North American rattlesnakes have. But that Mojave toxin A is going to be the uh, more medically significant one for humans in particular, because that's a very potent neurotoxic venom that is going to affect your respiratory system. It's going to shut down your breathing in a very little time. And there are, uh, of course, fatalities, human fatalities recorded, not only with the Mojave rattlesnake, but also with the Crotalo celery, which uh, more recent studies have proven also possesses that Mojave toxin A, depending on the exact locality. Because even with the Mojave rattlesnakes, some have the Mojave toxin A, some have the Mojave toxin B, and some actually have both. Some even have kind of a 50-50 mix, which is uh, kind of interesting.